hello everybody <coughs> welcome back uh, to my video lecture uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, fabrication of multiple threshold voltages that is the uh, heading of this topic fabrication of multiple threshold voltages uh, to understand and to discuss uh, how to fabricate multiple threshold voltages uh, one should uh, clearly understand what is threshold voltage first Threshold voltage is the point where uh, channel forms under the um, gate structure that is uh, in the channel, a channel formation takes place and uh, current conduction starts in the starts between drain to source that is threshold voltage. To use uh, high threshold voltage transistors to reduce leakage current and uh, low VT transistors to achieve high performance is one technique of having multiple threshold voltages. If uh, threshold voltage uh, is uh, threshold voltage normally depends upon uh, doping concentration, thickness of the uh, oxide layer, many many parameters are there uh, which are depending upon. Uh, you can clearly see on which parameters the threshold voltage is depending. The threshold voltage is depending upon <coughs> uh flat band voltage vfb flat band voltage doping doping density or doping concentration in the substrate and uh, cox oxide thickness uh, capacitance per unit area cox is capacitance per unit area this na is doping concentration and vfb is the flat band voltage all these parameters contribute to the threshold voltage now this threshold voltage uh, can be uh, threshold voltage can be altered by any of these parameters so when threshold voltage is very large there is a large delay and leakage power will be very less and if very low threshold voltage is there uh, sub threshold leakage will be large so to cope up with the problems uh, to have high performance uh, circuits and low uh, delay circuits uh, we need to have two kinds of uh, threshold voltages one is high threshold voltages for having less delay and uh, uh, low threshold voltages for high performance so uh, let's move on to the first concept of this technique that is multiple channel doping see doping concentration alters doping concentration means NA NA alters doping density results in a higher threshold voltage. If high doping concentration is used, see this is doping concentration uh, uh, 10 to the power of 17 uh, per centimeter cube uh, is the doping concentration. So this do as uh, you can see x axis is the doping concentration and y axis is the threshold voltage. As you keep on increasing the threshold uh, doping concentration, threshold voltage uh, improves. So this results in a very good threshold voltage modulation depending upon the um, doping concentration. So uh, the problem with the, uh, the additional requirements uh, for this multiple channel doping, multiple channel doping uh, is uh, two additional masks are required. Because as you are aware that each mask, the cost of a IC fabrication chip depends upon number of masks that are used. Uh, so as there are two masks uh, are increasing, it definitely impacts the cost of chip. Now uh, uh, the chip becomes costlier and there will be a non-uniform distribution of the doping density happens. That non-uniform uh, distribution of doping density may alter the threshold voltages uh, from point to point. That is, uh, reliability issues may take place. So that is um, mul about multiple channel doping. The other uh, technique that can be uh, done is multiple oxide uh, CMOS. See, uh, as we have seen in the previous uh, slide, threshold voltage is inversely proportional to oxide thickness. And where oxide thickness e, a, C is equal to epsilon A by D, epsilon A by D, where A is uh, area of the gate, area of the gate structure, D is thickness of oxide layer. So, 
different gate capacitance can be realized using different oxide thicknesses. So, uh, if you use a thick oxide layer, that will result in less threshold, uh, subthreshold leakage. This, uh, this is mentioned here, subthreshold leakage current decreases and reducing the gate oxide tunneling. Gate oxide tunneling is what? Uh, charge carriers from the gate uh, gate oxide charge carriers from the gate metal structure will leak will uh, penetrate through the oxide layer very thin if the oxide layer is very thin uh, uh, because of the aggressive scale down of uh, devices what is happening the charge carriers are tunneling through the oxide layer and entering into the channel thereby reaching to the ground that is uh, they are, uh, that is increasing the uh, gate leakage current gate leakage current is power dissipation so because of having thick oxide layers because of having thick oxide layers uh, gate oxide tunneling reduced and oxide tunneling current is exponentially decreasing with the increase in the oxide thickness it is exponentially decreasing with the increase in the oxide thickness and dynamic power dissipation decreases because the potent threshold voltage is getting altered with the thickness of the capacitance if capacitance is becoming less because you are going to use different oxide thicknesses that means uh, thick oxide thick oxide layers you are going to use the thick oxide layer increases the distance between the plates as the distance between the plates is increasing, capacitance lowers. Capac when capacitance lowers, thick, uh, VTH will increase. This is the concept. This is the concept of uh, uh, altering having multiple uh, oxide CMOS. Uh, oxide normally uh, will be only one oxide will be used. Here, by using the multiple oxide, what you are doing, you are going to increase the thickness of the oxide layer, thereby decreasing the capacitance. When capacitance decreases, threshold voltage increases so uh, for, for getting high threshold voltages uh, here you can see oxide thickness in nanometers 3.7 nanometer 4.2 nanometer 5.7 nanometer all these are the researchers uh, experiments with the researchers different researchers uh, have published uh, their articles research articles with the different thicknesses and they have reported these threshold voltages these are collected and presented here. Uh, so, uh, as the oxide thickness is increasing, threshold voltage keeps on increasing. So, these are all these are the advantages of uh, having uh, large gate thickness. And limitations uh, with this uh, uh, multiple oxide uh, capacit gate capacitors is increase in the short channel effects uh, what is short channel effect is uh, in ch ch first chapter uh, there is a video lecture uh, which is made by me in that we have discussed clearly about uh, short channel effect uh, because uh, sh shorter uh, channel devices uh, there is a there is a leakage between drain to source that is called as short channel effect so increase in the short channel effect because there is no leakage from the gate structure this uh, drain to source uh, field field will be very less get uh, because gate structure moves away from the channel the field effect of uh, field uh, in the channel will be less so the effect of drain will be more on the channel now this will encourage the short channel effects now the aspect ratio decreases aspect ratio is w by l ratio of the device which will decrease this. these are two these two are the problems with this having multiple uh, thickness uh, uh, gate capacitances now multiple body bias what is body effect body effect is improving the depletion layer thickness in the body to the source how it can be done uh, see if substrate if uh, consider an n mass transistor where the substrate will be of p type silicon the p mass uh, the p substrate will be reverse biased will be reverse biased with the source source is n type material uh, substrate is p type material this is p n junction 
this pn junction will be reversed by acid to have large uh, depletion layer or the large uh, def uh, depletion layer now this will improve uh, the good resistivity or leakage current will be reduced so by having the uh, applications of reverse bi bias to the well to source junction leads to an increase in the threshold voltage due to the widening of bulk depletion region this will increase the threshold voltage and lower the leakage current also but the limitations with this met method are separate body bias to be applied separate voltage source is required costly triple well techniques are to be used triple well techniques uh, you might have seen n well process p well process and twin tub process now this needs triple uh, well process now to another technique is uh, uh, it can be uh, you can use silicon and insulator technology soe technology uh, soe technology to overcome the problems uh, smaller delay of uh, low vt devices and smaller power consumption of high vt devices uh, can be mixed together to have a balance of uh, all the three four concepts which you have discussed just now so uh, by mixing by by mixing high vt devices see low vt devices and smaller power consumption of uh, high smaller delay because of low vt devices smaller power consumption because of high vt devices so there is a uh, compromise between uh, power and delay uh, can be made by having a mix of proper appropriate mix of high vt and low vt devices can be used so this is the topic uh, i hope you understand thank you